day 153. Okay. So today I want to talk about what's happening with C E R N. And so in my stories a couple of days ago, I talked about like the Mandela effects and how actually, so I made a mistake. I thought they appeared, started appearing around 2016, but it was actually starting 2012. Um, Mandela effects, like things that just didn't make sense, things moving around, us misremembering. Um, apparently, like some people were explaining how like one day, like a tree that was like on their property was at like in one place and then switched to another place. And so the reason why I brought this up is because today, today is a big day that marks the start of what CERN is doing. Uh, they are activating this thing uh basically crn is a physics lab in europe and uh they do all sorts of physics stuff um they play around with black holes they play around with like time like time realities collapsing time like just uh, like that particle physics quantum and all that and so today they started this thing called um they started working on this thing called the Hadron Collider. And so this thing is now powered up. Now, in the rabbit hole that I like to call, like basically that other side of the internet where you go down deep, 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 and everybody has their own theory on something. And, you know, like some people have their own thing. That's where you will find all the conspiracy theories and whatnot. And so a lot of people are saying like, oh, this is like a psyops. Other people are saying, oh, it's a good thing. Oh, and other people are saying, oh, it's a bad thing. I think that whatever it is, is like not to get distracted by what it is at this point. And I think that what is the most important is to focus on each one of our individual selves and our energy and our protection and grounding ourselves through this time. Uh, we don't actually know how long they're going to be doing this thing that they're doing, but... They're doing it. You might see more Mandela effects. We might not see more Mandela effects. We might see some other random stuff happening. I don't know. I don't know what's actually going to happen in our physical reality and environment. I can't tell you any of that. But what I can tell you is this. Reel yourself back into yourself. Ground yourself. Meditate. If using, if you feel called to using crystals and, you know, like incense, like uh, sage or palo santo or any of those that you feel that would create a protection for you and your human being, your body, your soul, tap into that. Meditate, get yourself out in nature. Things might feel a little bit wonky for yeah, who knows how many years now. Um, and so trust in you and trust in yourself. And whatever happens to in the external environment, know that you are safe. You are always safe. It may feel uncomfortable, but you are safe. And so, like I said, I don't know what can come out of this like there could be some collapsing timelines there could be some things coming into your reality faster than you expected there are so many theories as to what this thing that they're starting is going to bring we actually don't know we don't know um like i mean other than the, probably the physics physicists who are working on this thing and maybe they actually don't fully know what's going on so <laughs> like nobody really knows um so I know that sometimes like looking at this, it can feel scary. Look at it. You're just like, uh, like, what the fuck's going on? What are they doing there up in, I think, where is it? Switzerland. That's what I have though. Like, what are they doing up in Switzerland? Like, um, and yeah. And so just go, do you live your life day by day? Just enjoy it. Do things that light you up. Heal the things that, you know, you desire to heal. <laughs> Um, get grounded, protect your energy. You're going to be fine. You're going to be good. It might feel uncomfortable at moments, but that's life, right? Like there's life where we're uncomfortable. There's life where we do inner healing. There's life where things don't make sense. There's life where everything feels unknown and we just got to ride that wave. We got to ride that wave. You know, and sometimes like when you're, you know, you try to catch a wave and you don't catch it. Sometimes you're sitting there and you're waiting for the wave to come. And then sometimes you catch that wave and it's the most awesome wave. And then other times you catch that wave and then you fall halfway through it. And that's life. You know, just, you just got to go with it and not take it so seriously. And just, yeah, you 
we're good. We're good. So whatever. So just wanted to share this message with you that we are going to be fine. It's all good. Just protect yourself, protect your energy. Tap into your intuition, tap into your body. That's the most important thing is to listen to yourself. And this is it for today's live, day 153. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please like, share, or comment. And have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow.